flashing their headlights and whirring their wheels, a team of robots have arrived in Tate Britain. It might look like an elaborate art heist, but this is in fact a new way to allow visitors a peek into the galleries after dark. This is a robot which is going to be exploring the galleries of the Tate Britain for five nights. It's going to be remotely controlled by operators who can go onto the website and take control of the robot and move it through the galleries at night. You've got these ancient paintings which, you know, which are encountering a robot for the first time. You know, it's the artist's impression of the world. You know, what they saw, looking at someone else's impression of the world, which is mediated through a robot. Can you talk me through the different elements, what, what's incorporated in the robot? Yeah, we've got the camera in here. Yeah. We've got these lights, which we've specially got designed. We've got sensors up in the body. And, and this kind of skirt around the bottom, is, is that uh, some kind of safety mechanism in case your sensors go wrong? Basically, we've got to cover all sort of costs. And just in case something goes wrong, it'll just stroll into something, click these nice little sensors, and then we can take it from there. Great. Let's go and have a go. So Ross, how do we control the robot? How does the interface work? So we've got A and D that allow you to spin. You can move forward with W. OK. So when it's up and running, there will be someone explaining kind of what I'm seeing. Yeah, actually. it's going to be the, the whole um, British art tour, which you can go around. 500 years of British art. It feels a bit like being a thief, kind of snooping around with a torch after dark. If only it came with a robotic arm to lift the painting off the wall and put it and in a satchel. Down. <laughs> so will this team of robots just be left to wander the galleries on their own all through the night? Yeah, I mean, we need to, we've created a big system ourselves here, so we need to be on hand taking control of it. Not so much the robots, I mean, they're kind of left, but they're, you know, we'll be looking, making sure the video feeds are mm -hmm. working and connections. And do you see it having other applications beyond this week at Tate Britain? What could happen next? And yeah, we'd love to see it on, I don't know, cargo ships, desolated sites, just other galleries anywhere.